Okay, y'all. Opinions. Opinions. What are opinions, y'all? Some people strongly believe that pineapple belongs on pizza. Some people believe that further down the street from their house that they're going to end up robbing them because they look just kind of shady. So they always feel like these people that live down their street are going to come and rob them. So then they notify everybody else down the street that those people that live in that house might come and rob them. Y'all, those are all opinions. Some of those are half-truths. Where do we start to even put weight inside of someone else's opinion, y'all? Where does that come from? What on the inside of us makes us put so much weight on an opinion, y'all? Some people, if you are spoken bad of by anybody, your marriage, with your, the way you raise your kids, whatever, it offends you so greatly you almost cannot recover. You spend hours upon hours of your day just stirring on stirring on someone's opinion, y'all. Debates and opinion and all the stuff that's on TV, CNN, Fox News, back to this, back to this. What's this doctor's opinion on the COVID vaccine? What is your opinion? What do you think is gonna happen? What do you think about the apocalypse? What do you think about this? Y'all, those are all just opinions. The best thing I ever did was quit watching Sports Center in the morning. Quit watching all of the news because really all of it is all opinions on all these different athletes. What's going to happen to LSU's coach? Should they fire him? Should they keep him? And y'all, it literally keeps this debative, angry spirit alive on the inside of you. And every time you listen to a conversation of two people debating a topic of something, it breathes into that fire within you y'all. And because that fire is alive on the inside of you, when someone speaks of an opinion on the outside of you directed at you, you actually believe it and get offended back to where you want to fight back. That's because you have allowed yourself to put so much weight and value on opinions and debative statements. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Okay, how about this? Use jar roux or make your own roux. Okay, how about this? Put tomatoes inside of a gumbo. Many of you would fire back immediately after watching this video and say, oh my God. So the level of your response based off of someone's opinion is a clue, y'all. It's a small little clue as to how well you are gonna handle the opinion when someone speaks poorly of you. So. Pay attention to what you're thinking about, y'all. Pay attention to what you're giving your mental energy towards, y'all. We spend hours a day being offended of someone's opinion. How many hours a day do you lose in joy because you were worried about what someone said or how they think or whatever about you? Forget the opinions, y'all. Remember, it's just an opinion. It's just somebody's perception of the world. Does it have to be yours? Do you have to adapt it? Do you have to answer to it? You do not. Let me free you from it right now. And if you really, really, really want to remove yourself from that environment, quit watching all news and all sports center and all the things because literally all day long they are just looking for some kind of drama and they want to ask 10 or 12 people what they think about it i don't care what you think about it i am busy doing life i'm going to continue to keep doing my life while you sit there and debate and argue and all of the things y'all literally if someone starts a debate i walk away I just can't take it. I don't want to be around it. I look, where the fish are biting? How do you get your chickens to do this? What do you do that? All I'm looking for is ideas and how to better my life. Drop the opinions, y'all. Forget about them.